G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum on episode 309, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it is the first day of spring. It's uh, looking like a very wet day today. We might be able to go see Jimmy, actually. Uh, it is actually kind of appropriate because I'm sort of a little bit worried about whether or not we've got enough coffee for uh, the season, but anyway. Uh, to Blue, just letting you know that I appreciate everything you are doing for our town from Milburn, okay? Uh, I wasn't really expecting to ever see a letter like that from Milburn, but anyway, that's good. Got a good relationship with Milburn now. It's a uh, very, very uh, unexpected considering how things started off. Alright, so uh, yes, it is tempting to just do all the Bloom and Spring things, but... We do still have a farm to look after, uh, and in fact, we may be having a bit of a an issue with the farm today uh, because we have ran out of uh, both wheat and sugarcane seeds. Uh, so we definitely need to go see Rain about that. Uh, let's see. Just want to put a few things away. We might actually need the fertilizer in a moment, but. Um, I think maybe we'll start off with the animals uh, and do all the feeding and all that sort of stuff first. Uh, we'll check the crab pots as well. Um, Alright, so let's get the Kwondongs out. Actually, it's not even 8 o'clock yet, but as soon as it's 8 o'clock, they're suddenly interested. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I, I remember, you know, giving the Bloom and Spring update a go, um, because James was kind enough to, uh, let me try it out early. Uh, and yeah, I remember there's, like, all these, like, little white flowers in the grass, which is kind of a nice detail. Um, but yeah, I... Ooh, look at that! We've got, like, flowering jacaranda trees. Beautiful. And, uh... Since we've sort of put in a lot of effort trying to get those jacaranda trees in, um, the farm and various other areas should start looking quite nice. So uh, we'll come back and maybe consider doing like a photograph or something like that, uh, especially since we've got the uh, the overlook, um, you know, completed. So we should be able to actually take a very, very nice picture from there. Hopefully, anyway. Um, all right. So... Um, okay, so our <laughs> a lot of our uh, plants didn't survive on this side. That is very, very unfortunate. Um, that's okay. Grab all of this. I did say that I was going to start with the animals. That that exact like didn't didn't happen at all. But that's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to the animals in a moment. Hey, Melvin. There's, uh, there's nothing for you to do here, mate. Ah, uh, damn. Alright. Uh, yeah, what's up? I tell you, if I had my time all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. That's a, a good way to be. No regrets. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of the corn, right? Because the corn's not gonna survive, uh, this season so anyway let's focus up on the animals all right and now the goodest boyos uh, I am gonna put these tools here guys um, since perhaps maybe we should just be keeping all of the, the tools for the animals together uh, or, or all the things for the animals together, rather. Um, where's Ein? I definitely saw Ein uh, this morning. I think in this rain, it's going to be even harder to try and find him. There he is. He, he does like to 
hang around near the river on this side, doesn't he? So that always sort of worries me a little bit. All right, and you can have your breakfast now. Uh, all right, so just need to deal with the crab pots. And then from here, uh, I think the first thing that I do want to do is actually go uh, out to Bluru and see if we can do some work there. That's the sort of initial plan, but... Um, Because we do have to probably wait for Rain to actually open her shop. I don't even know if she's going to be open on a Sunday, but I think she is actually. I think she closes on the Thursday, something like that. Alright, so let's chuck everything back here. And I'm going to take the heli just to try and speed things up a little bit. I have got a little bit more corn there. I suppose we probably didn't need to gather the corn over this side manually because we're going to eventually be taking it down with the scythe anyway so yeah I could have probably just saved time that way anyway let's just put a few things away while we can Chuck some money in there, and let's just get rid of a few things. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why we've got a miner's helmet with us. I think perhaps maybe that's one that we're just recharging. Um, Alright, so I'm ready to go back to Blueru. Let's do the work there. Uh, and yeah, as I mentioned the other day, uh, the idea is that we'll get the work at Blueru done early and then from there uh, we can go back and recharge and we can go see rain at the same time that way hopefully we can use the soil printer a couple of times in the day like we did yesterday but yesterday we sort of had to wait around a little bit ended up sort of doing a little bit of crafting instead but anyway Hopefully, we'll be able to get Blue Ruru done relatively quickly. I mean, <laughs> the size of the thing keeps growing and growing, so... Um, anyway, here we are. Let's get the dirt printer out and let's do what we need to do. So a lot of you guys seem to uh, like the idea of making Blue which is really nice. Um, and uh, obviously a lot of you guys are probably worried about me breaking the soil printer, so... <laughs> um, I'm trying to be extra careful on that front. Can't wait till we actually get uh, the second, uh, well, I was going to say second tier of <laughs> dirt printer, well, the upgraded dirt printer, um, because uh, someone had left a comment, I, I think I was a little bit worried about the fact that, you know, it still won't be as use useful because, uh, you know, we'd still have to recharge it every time, etc, etc, but, uh, Apparently, uh, it prints twice as much soil. Uh, if that's the case, that is really, really awesome because, yeah, that way you can basically stay out here a lot longer uh, when doing, like, big projects like this. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be really cool. Um, 
I really hope that we can get the upgrade before we actually finish this project. At least the soil printing part as well. Because I feel like this is, uh, like, if not one of the, uh, I guess, biggest projects that we've done uh, throughout the playthrough. I mean, Western, uh, Western Connection was pretty big as well. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if this involves a lot more dirt printing than the Western Connection. Potentially the Western Connection needed more soil uh, compared to what we're doing here, but it's still equally as challenging, if you ask me. So, how are we looking just from this side? Not too bad. I think we, we still need to go a tiny bit higher, uh, so we'll definitely add some more layers to, uh, to this, but uh, for now I think we've done enough. Let's uh, go back to the workshop and We'll drop off the printer and we'll see if we can sort out the seed situation. Um, I definitely want to get coffee growing because uh, we don't have a lot of coffee. Uh, but I forget what else we can grow in the spring. Uh, I might sort of hold back a little bit on certain crops, especially if we've got tons of it already. Because uh, there's no point, right? Like, uh, I mean, I, I don't even know if we'll get a chance to use all the stuff that we've already grown. I mean, we could always sell it, right? Um, okay, so dirt printer going in. And time to see rain. Alright, so... Of course, she's not selling any of the standard stuff, like wheat or uh, sugarcane, which is really disappointing. Um, that's alright, let's get some potato seeds. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if we've got a lot of potato seeds, that's why I'm sort of just loading up on some potato seeds here. Uh, the green beans, I think we should be okay. Uh, I have a feeling we may have onion seeds as well, but you know what? We may as well buy some more. It's not like we're doing anything else with our money right now. Okay. And yeah, we're going to have to just spend quite a lot of time at the farm. Um, I am going to go see Jimmy today, as I said, uh, because... I'm just not confident about the amount of coffee seeds we've got. I think we've got about like a hundred or so. Uh, and, you know, they are worth a lot of money, right? Those coffee seeds. Uh, so we're going to need a ton of money if we're going to buy a whole stack uh, or another stack of uh, coffee seeds. So. I think we should have enough money here though. We've got one million dink in the pockets, so should be okay. Righto, so let's uh, get the scythe and yeah, let's get the seeds that um, that are relevant. So, uh, so yeah, we, we're definitely gonna grow some coffee. Uh, Okay, we, we didn't really have a lot of onion seeds, apparently. So, I might actually need to go back to rain to buy more of these seeds. We, we are sort of running out. Uh, mighty seeds grow in the summer, so that's fine. Don't have many kale seeds remaining. Um... Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's just like onion and potatoes. Uh, oh, and green beans. Uh, so we don't have green beans here. I thought we had some. Uh, let's prioritize getting the seeds first, guys, because uh, obviously rain likes to clock off early at, I think, four o'clock. So we better get those seeds first thing.
All right, so let's get the beans. And I can't remember if these beans will grow a couple of seasons. They might. Uh, anyway, that that looks like a good amount to start. Um, and I think, yeah, the onions were running out. Stop talking to each other. <laughs> Serve me. <laughs> Serve me, Rain. <laughs> Can't you see there are customers in your shop? Bloody hell. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sort of panicking here because, like, I don't want to run out of time either. I know, uh... I know people like to take it easy here, but, uh, come on, guys. Alright. So, uh, I'm gonna try and do the farming as quick as possible here, and then as soon as that's done, we'll try and grab the uh, soil printer once more and uh, do a little bit more work on Blue Roo. Uh, I don't know if we should do that first or go see Jimmy first, but anyway, doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, it's going to get done. Alright, let's get rid of all of this as well. Okay, so, uh, I think my, uh, thought process is getting, uh, just green beans, uh, in between, uh, other crops. So we'll do green beans like that. Uh, because we do need access to the actual green beans as well. And that can be a bit of a problem. Summer and spring, yep, so that should be fine. We should be able to to grow these green beans over a couple of seasons, which is nice. Alright, so. Uh, and I think between these ones, I think we'll go with some potatoes. Uh, compared to onions, I feel like maybe we probably don't have as many potatoes. Okay, good stuff. Uh, over here, I am thinking of doing coffee. Uh, and yeah, perhaps maybe with the coffee, we sort of focus on uh, getting the coffee grown in their own plots slash sections. Um, I think that makes sense in my mind. But anyway, there we go. Can't wait till we can actually brew some coffee. Uh, I don't know if there are additional steps or anything like that, because with coffee, I mean real coffee obviously, coffee beans have to be roasted and stuff like that, so... Um, I don't foresee that being a thing uh, in this game. Unless we have to use the, the furnaces to roast those coffee beans. Who knows. Uh, again, this is an element of uh, the Bloom and Spring update, which you know, haven't really seen before. Um, I forgot that we're probably going to need the iron hoe. Actually, we don't really need the, uh, the watering can, do we? Lucky, since it is raining today, so... Alright, so let's... get the soil... tilled... And I suppose I should get rid of uh, all of this. Uh, actually, we should bring some fertilizer out. I forgot about the fertilizer. Let's just do that after this. Uh, 
Uh, fertilizer is, yep, over here. Speaking of fertilizer, we should actually get some fertilizer going. Uh, almost forgot about that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully our doggos are safe. <laughs> I see, I see Ein over there. Uh, I, I'm not seeing, ooh, is this something we've ever seen before? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I know that we're still looking for certain bugs and stuff. Oh man, I didn't want to bring a fly with me. A stag beetle. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we've seen a, a stag beetle before. Uh, we haven't really done a lot of bug catching recently. Um, let's take a look at the pedia. Oh yeah, okay, we've seen the stag beetle before. Oh well, we may as well let it go. He can, uh, he can go off and live his life in peace. Um, alright, let's fertilize all of this, finally, <laughs> probably been a long time coming, um, so yeah, this is probably our biggest plot, right, I'm not entirely sure, uh, what we should do here, maybe we should do like half, uh, potatoes, half onions, maybe, um, Anyway, let's get the the green beans in first, though. Great. Great, great. Uh, we do need to harvest the large farm as well. I'm not in a hurry to do that, guys, because it's not like we've got any seeds to actually put back into the large farm at this point. So, uh, you know, we may as well just keep stuff there for the moment. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe potatoes halfway and then onions the other half. from here with the onions. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, okay. Yeah, so four rows each of the potatoes and the onions. Hopefully it's not too boring for people uh, watching at home. It's just watching me prepare the spring farm. But uh, while we're doing this, uh, I might as well uh, have a chat with you guys about, uh, well, in real time for me anyway, the uh, the Xbox showcase has uh, just been and gone. And uh, yeah, that looks really, really interesting. There's a lot of interesting games, but I mean, uh, I guess one that I'm really looking forward to is Starfield. Uh, I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys have played a lot of Bethesda games before, uh, sometimes they can be hit and miss, you know, like um, some of their Fallout games I wasn't really a big fan of, but um, the uh, the showcase showed Starfield, and Starfield's basically Skyrim in space, so <laughs> uh, I'm kind of interested in that, a uh, big sci-fi buff, uh, and yeah, it's looking really cool, although I would have to say the engine that they're using uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't have a lot of confidence in it because it just feels like, uh, potentially, you know, 
Uh, it might not hold up um, well in the future. Uh, plus, you know, like this is a, a game that's extremely ambitious and I'm just not entirely sure if the engine's going to actually, uh, you know, uh, hold up its end of the bargain, if you will, you know, <laughs> like, uh, will we see extreme jankiness or uh, will it be a success? I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to think here if I want coffee or if I want something else. Um, I'm definitely going to get some coffee in here. Um, I wasn't banking on the iron scythe running out of durability so quickly. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's get coffee in here. Okay, so we've got 60 coffee seeds left. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need 50. So we should be able to get coffee in here. That's fine. Um, I just don't know if we've got enough potatoes and onions, that's all. Because um, I do want to grow even more coffee. I mean, because coffee is literally the one thing that uh, is going to be quite difficult for us to grow any other time. Uh, and I can't remember how quick these things mature, but I suppose I can check with the plant book. Yeah, coffee. Very important part of the diet. Uh, definitely a big coffee drinker. Um, Alright, so let's get coffee in... Oh, actually, there's this one uh, tile which we couldn't fertilize. So perhaps maybe we can just go coffee on this side. Because at the very least, we've got everything fertilized here. And, uh, yeah, this should be, hopefully, turning out really, really well. Yeah, we've got all sorts of problems on this side with the fertilizer and, uh, the, the seeds. Well, actually, the seeds are not really the problem, it's just the fertilizer, I suppose. So do we have enough coffee here? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I definitely need to buy some more coffee seeds from Jimmy though, uh, if we're going to continue to grow a few more batches. Um, yeah, I would like to put more coffee in here as well. So we'll, we'll go with like the other veggies in this plot. Um, I think that will work. So I think what we should do is maybe just get the veggie plot done first over here and then we can go see Jimmy buy the coffee and uh, yeah see how we go with uh, getting a few more coffee crops planted um, I feel like this day is going real slow, guys. Um, is it just me? Maybe I'm just taking my sweet old time with stuff. Um, Alright, let's do something like that. Yeah, after all of that effort trying to get all the fertilizer, we have completely run out. Now we have the same issue that we had before with our uh, timing of all of our crops being on different days. 
Uh, what potatoes and onions? Well, we've got one plot that's growing potatoes only. Perhaps maybe uh, we should go with just onions in this one. I think that makes sense. Even things out a little bit. Okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, now we just need to get those uh, coffee seeds. So let's throw our seeds and other tools away. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can find Jimmy out there somewhere. Actually, I'll see Jimmy later. Uh, I think it's probably better if we spend more time on Blue Ruru right now. Uh, and we complete all of that first because we are going to have a stamina issue past 12 o'clock. Uh, at least seeing Jimmy is not going to require any stamina, so that's fine. Um, okay, so... Uh, dirt printer in hand. Let's get going. So perhaps maybe uh, we'll work on Blue Ruru. Once that's done, we immediately try to see if we can find Jimmy. We'll do our shopping, and then from there we'll uh, swing by the workshop. We'll drop off the dirt printer once more. Uh, I think tomorrow the plan is going to be to actually do the work on Blue Ruru in the morning with the dirt printer, so similar to what we've done today. But then once the dirt printer is coming very close towards uh, end of durability, we can then go see uh, Franklin, and we, we can actually just drop it off with him to upgrade. Uh, that way, you know, there's no real need for us to sort of recharge it or anything like that. Uh, I think that'll probably be the most efficient uh, one thing that I haven't checked on, actually, is tasks. We did pick up a task, right? Oh, no. We've got zero days for this, uh, and it's already almost like 15 minutes to, <laughs> to 12 o'clock. So, uh, Melvin's not going to be happy with us. That's uh, it's just going to have to be the way it is, unfortunately. Yeah, forgot about the tasks. I mean, the tasks are nice to just, like, keep relationships up at this point in the game, uh, but I don't know. Like, keeping up the work on that can be a little bit, uh, how do you say, cumbersome? Especially if you've got other goals that you're wanting to do. Uh, probably have some corn. Keep our stamina up a little bit. Alright, let's uh, take a step back and let's just take a look at this thing. Okay, yeah, looking good, looking good. Um, I think uh, I think we definitely need to go up a little bit more, one one more layer at the very least. So I think I'm just gonna do like another layer completely. 
on on the uh, the outskirts here is uh, I think what I'm trying to do is I'm I'm trying to vary the the height of the soil uh, so I don't want things to be too uniform all the time. Okay, we're getting very close here. I think that's probably enough. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to go see Jimmy. Not calling it a day just yet until we get that coffee in. And uh, at the very least, once uh, today is over, we won't have to think about the farm for a while. Well, I take that back, except for the sugarcane uh, and the... Um, and the wheat, because we've completely run out. Uh, I need to spend a lot more money on buying more of those seeds, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just really tough, isn't it? Like, there's a lot of things to think about here. Like, you have to buy spare mine passes, you have to buy spare uh, repair kits, uh, you have to buy spare seeds, all the, all the different seeds. <laughs> and then, uh, and then there's the actual farm work, and also, uh, you know, towards the end of it, then th there are your own personal goals for for playing the game as well. So it has a lot to do in a single day. All right, let's see this shady fella. Um, I didn't really bring anything actually to sell to Jimmy. I, I, I don't know if I should have done that, actually. Plant book. Okay, we definitely have that. Um, how much are keys again? Ugh. Yeah, nah. Oh, a pack of five, you get them for a million. Okay, I, uh, I didn't realize it was a pack of five. Uh, I just, you know, realize now. Ooh, actually, uh, I forget that we can buy a boombox here. Oh, that's my boombox. It's a family heirloom, a one of a kind. I couldn't possibly part with it unless... I guess I could let it go for 6,000 uh, permit points. Interesting. Um, let's not get it for now, because uh, I I'm just not entirely sure if we need the permit points for anything else, but... Uh, Let's definitely get the coffee seeds, though. Wow, okay, they grow over 16 days, so we really only have a couple of chances to do... Well, actually, if with the fertilizer, does that cut it down to maybe half? Like, eight days? Hmm. But yeah, we only have, like, a couple of chances to, to get that in without the fertilizer, at least. 13,600 each. Bloody hell. Right. I think we need about, like, 50 or so. Right? But, look, we can, we can buy a little bit more. Let's spend all of our money here. Uh, it just means that we're now going to have to uh, think about going to the bank before we actually go to Franklin tomorrow. Which is not bad. I mean, we've got plenty of money in the bank. Uh, I should perhaps maybe think about um, selling uh, some stuff to Jimmy as well. Do I want to do that? I could. Let's firstly work our way towards the farm. We'll uh, get the coffee in. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, I do have uh, quite a few uses of the 
uh, the bottled clouds. So, you know, it's not like I'm desperate to, to see Jimmy just today to sell stuff. Although it is a, a pretty good opportunity, right? Perhaps maybe I could sell him some wheat. Hmm. I don't think the wheat really goes for too much, but better than not selling him anything at all. Okay, so let's get our coffee in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave that patch alone. Just because the timing's gonna be off and... Um... I'd rather fix it up with some fertilizer before we sort of grow some more. So I'm gonna wait until the timing is correct with the rest of the coffee crop. Um... But yeah, do we have enough coffee, guys? <laughs> I, I think we do. Um, hopefully, anyway. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I think maybe we should go back and uh, fetch stacks of 50 of things. And yeah, let's try to sell some stuff off to Jimmy and try to recover some of our cash because uh, it doesn't feel right not having any cash in our pockets. Uh, so I think what we can do is we can just grab all of the cherries. We've got a stack of 50 cherries. Now I remember someone saying that you need to have a stack of 50. Uh, anything more than 50 is uh, is not worth anything basically. So well I mean the I mean it's not like they're worth nothing but it's like he only pays for stacks of 50. So yeah, I've got to think about that. Uh, perhaps maybe this might be a good time to test something out with Jimmy. Uh, so, and we can test it out with the cherries, since we don't really use the cherries for anything else. And uh, maybe we can raid the pantry for veggies as well. I'm sure we've got plenty of veggies that we're probably never ever going to be able to use all of it up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I reckon we should be able to make a bit of money that way. Okay, um, might be a good idea to just harvest some of these bottle brush. Okay. Let's take a look at the veggie situation here. Plenty of tomatoes, plenty of onions, plenty of kale. Which, again, we're not really going to be able to use all of it up, I think. Uh, do we want to go, like, 50 kale? Um, don't really have a lot of cabbage, so probably not going to get rid of cabbage. Got a lot of corn.
Yeah, so what I'm not entirely sure of and what I'm thinking of trying to test is whether or not if we sell him two stacks of cherries, both 50, uh, if he's going to give us more money compared to selling him one stack of cherries. Uh, that's, that's the idea anyway. Um, how's our brewing going? Okay, it's going okay. Um, anything else we want to sell? Well, uh, hmm. I mean, we could go even more kale. I mean, <laughs> what else are we going to use the kale for? Um, anyway, so uh, let's go back to Jimmy's. Let's sell all this stuff, all the produce, and let's hope that we can make some bank. Um, where is he? Okay. And uh, yeah, once we're done with Jimmy's, I think we're pretty much going to be calling it an episode, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this first day of spring. Um, Bloomin' Spring is exciting with the jacarandas, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but I haven't seen a lot of the, the, uh, the flowers just yet, and I'm not entirely sure how prominent they are. Um, maybe I haven't really seen them because it's been too rainy, too dark when I actually left the house. Um, but yeah, I do want to try and gather up some flowers that we've never seen before uh, and perhaps maybe give those, well, plant those flowers uh, into some planters and hopefully maybe farm some of those flowers a little bit so that we can use them in different seasons. Uh, I'm probably not going to have like a gigantic flower farm or anything like that, but just enough so that we have a few varieties. Uh, that we can just continually grow even if it might be a little bit slow Okay, now Jimmy let us sell you stuff. Welcome back blue. Are you here to talk business? I sure am uh... All right, then just remember I only buy in bulk. I won't take anything less than 50 of an item But I will pay double just for you Okay, so the first experiment I want to do is just, well, this is not really the first experiment, it's the only experiment I want to do. Um, so let's sell a couple of stacks of cherries and see how much we make from that. 70,000, okay. So I assume now that if we sell uh, the one stack, it might be about 35. So let's check that out. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, actually, I do have one more test to do. Um, I want to test if we do... Sorry, let's, let's back out of that for a second. So, if we do this, uh, does he pay us the same amount? So, let's go with 100 kale. 262, nice, okay. And now, let's try doing the same thing, but with split, uh, split stacks. Uh, 
262. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. That's good to know. So we don't have to uh, split stuff up by, you know, stacks. We can basically just, as long as it's uh, multiples of 50, then we should be all good. Uh, so yeah, let's sell everything else that we have. Okay. Not bad. So almost a million, or did we pass a million? Anyway, we sort of broke even, almost, maybe. Uh, maybe we're down about 30,000 ding, but that's okay. Um, we did need to invest in a lot of those coffee seeds anyway. Right. Oh, um, oh, I've forgotten to put the dirt uh, printer into the charger while I was at the uh, workshop before. All right. So I'm going to quickly do that just so that we can follow our plan in the morning tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, yeah get a little bit more of Blueru done, finally get our upgrade to the dirt printer, I'm excited about that, um, but yeah, we're still going to have to wait at least one more day before we actually get our hands on it, uh, that's alright, patient, uh, patience comes to those who, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting the saying wrong, uh, good things come to those who wait, Jesus, <laughs> uh, alright, Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sort of thinking whether or not we need more farm areas to grow even more coffee, guys. Uh, I assume we need, like, what, something like 10 coffee beans for one coffee brew? Something along those lines. Alright, uh, that prints it in... And I think that is going to be the day. Maybe consume a little bit of wheat here to keep going. Feels like a slow day, but at the same time, I feel like this might have been quite a long episode. I needed to actually get quite a few things done. So, <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but I think we're sort of set up for the next few days. We won't need to worry about the, uh, the farm too much. Uh, and we should be able to get some other stuff done. Alright guys, I think this is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Stay true. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.